Hi there, it's Tracy here, and I have a card to share with you to celebrate the beginning of spring. I started off by creating my grassy background by blending some Twisted Citron and Mowed Lawn Distress Oxide inks onto a panel of Bristol Smooth cardstock. Next, I moved on to creating two Easter eggs for my scene using the stitched egg die set along with some alcohol inks. I used Yupo paper and a plastic container of clean water to apply the ink to the paper. For the first egg, I used Ranger's Wild Plum and Purple Twilight, and for the second egg, I used Butterscotch and Stream Colors. I added a couple drops of the ink into my water and quickly submerged my Yupo paper, pulled it out, and laid it on a paper towel to dry. I can't even begin to tell you how much I love the Butterscotch and Stream together. While these were drying, I set to work on my butterfly. I started by blending a panel of Bristol Smooth with fossilized amber, spice marmalade, and black soot distress oxide ink. I flipped on some water and picked up some of the color with paper towel. For the butterfly, I used layers A and C of the Genevieve Butterfly Layer die set. After I cut the butterfly, I glued it together using some liquid glue just where the body meets in the middle so that I could bend the wings up for some added dimension on my card. Next, I arranged all my die cut pieces onto the grassy panel I created in the beginning, and I cut the entire Lingo alphabet die with white cardstock and only took the letters that I needed to spell the word spring. The rest I put into a small plastic bag to use another time. I adhered the word spring along the bottom of my card front using liquid glue and inside my mini misty so that I could make sure it was centered and also to make sure that it was straight. Once the letters were glued down, I stamped the word sending from the Lingo Thanks stamp set just above and to the left of the word spring. Now that my sentiment was in place, I put the rest of my card together using a combination of tape runner and foam tape. The entire front panel was adhered to a top folding white card base with foam tape. To finish the card off, I added a few sparkling clear sequins for a little extra sparkle. Thanks so much for stopping in today, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Happy spring!